What's going on, guys? It's your boy Terabyte Reacts here, and we are back for another season of Viking Season 2. I'm gonna start Season 2 today. Episode 1 is here today, and I have to say, um, if you don't know, now you know. Okay, I take a break whenever a season ends for anything on this channel. I take a break. I take a week's break. It was supposed to come back this week. Um, it was supposed to come back this week. So, but I didn't get a chance to do it until later. Also, I've been having trouble with the Google Drive. So, um, this um, this episode might be even later than it's than I promised. Okay, so. So definitely, definitely, man. Um, as soon as this, I can get this out to the Google Drive. Um, it should be should be up. Hopefully by, hopefully I can get it up by this weekend. So um, <sighs> troubles, 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 huh? So as I've said before in my last review in episode nine of season one, I don't think they did a very good job of. Of closing out the season um, as I said I've had issues with this TV show um, so far I think the story is great don't get me wrong on that aspect it's just like the pacing I think they could do a better job with the pacing of the show um, but it, as I said those technical aspects of it are not gonna let me stop watching the show because I know you guys enjoyed the reactions I'm enjoying the show so it's just that sometimes the pacing is awesome and then sometimes it's look like you feel like you're watching you know a simulator for 40 minutes <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you it, it, in in some ways it's like the story you're want you want the story to move but it's not moving it's like they hold it in place you know so that's the issue that i have with the show sometimes for a couple of episodes in the first season i felt like they could have done more with the episode but they didn't even the last episode of the season, I felt they could have done more, but it just felt like it was lagging. Like there wasn't a a point of urgency to the episode, whereas in to leave you on to leave you on a you know what I'm saying, a high ready for the next season. So I had those issues but here we are season two i have not forgotten about this series guys see i got a new background for y'all and everything plan to do that every season to change up my background make things a bit fresh i have my man here ragnar posing in the background now not just the logo of the vikings now we have ragnar in the background so no complaining no complaining okay so um the way out they left the season uh, the season ending is basically this plague is taking over the village where Lagertha is at. They're on their way back. Um, are they? No, they're not on their way back. He met some. He, he went to go do what the king asked him to do, which is to get these this land and stuff like that over there. And this guy has looks like he has. Um, looks like Rolo has turned on Ragnar. Which I really don't, I, I, it's just, I, I can't figure out this guy, Rolo. I just can't figure him out. It's just like one second he seems like he's, he's with Ragnar to the end. And then the next second he's like, um, no, I want to be king too. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's just weird with him. But I want to see how this plays out. Now the girl that he, that Ragnar fooled around with, she's pregnant. And Lagertha is at home burying their daughter. I mean, you know what I'm saying? This is what we call it. The story has come to a bump. Okay. Yes. So I'm excited to see what happens going forward here. Of course, we'll see how this, how this continues. So let's just go jump into it. And I will, you guys already know how we do it over here. Full reactions. I'll try to get some highlights out to you guys, but for now, Let's go watch the show, and I'll be right back here for the review. Thank you.
Bing, 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 bing. If I had a physical bell, I would be ringing it over and over again because when I say they have nailed the first episode of season two, I mean they have nailed it, put it in the books, historic writing, storytelling, everything they did. I mean, the pacing. Oh my God. They have probably heard me in the past <laughs> they must have heard me in the past <laughs> anyways man um this episode was on a technical level 110 out of 100 i mean they went into this episode saying man we have to deliver on this second season because as i said man there were some lacks lackluster stuff that happened in the first season i don't want to reiterate that too much but you know what i said at the intro how i felt about the first season um but this second season episode if they continue if every episode if the next nine episodes of this i think it is 10 episodes in this season if they continue to deliver like this in every episode pfft, count me in brother count me in i'm here i'm ready um everything about this episode was was great how they started it the middle the end come on man so many unexpected things happened in this episode i want to talk about one thing in particular first before i talk about the other things first thing i want to talk about is this whole thing that happened with ragnar him cheating um, sleeping with this princess or whatever her name is, Asla, or <laughs> whatever her name is, against Lagertha, because, um, you guys know, I, I, I love Lagertha, I think she is, at this point in the show, I really, I really do believe that she is the prettiest woman, the most beautiful woman in the show right, right now, still, um, Asla, pretty good looking, woman don't get me wrong um old girl I siggy siggy pretty good looking too um but lagertha takes the prize it's like first one two three for the most pretty i mean helga pretty good looking girl too um but lagertha lagertha let me say her name properly lagertha lagertha <laughs> okay um it was kind of sad to see her go. I hopefully they hopefully it's not that they wrote her character off the show. Hopefully that's not hopefully that's not the reason why they wrote it like that. Hopefully she turns up in it cuz I mean it's it's still a son it's still, you know what I'm saying? She is the one. She is the um she is the one. She is the one for him. I love their chemistry. I love how you know how they work together how they do things together it's just that it was kind of disappointing when she lost the baby and stuff like that um i didn't like how he kind of like pushed her to the side when you know what i'm saying when she lost the baby and and stuff like that. then they lost their daughter i mean it wasn't a good time you understand what i'm saying um you know but to put things into perspective i also didn't like what she did when she confronted him did it was not at that point in time they were supposed to concentrate on what just happened the people that was in the room didn't need to know about that you get what i'm saying like that was supposed to be a private thing that they worked out you know what i'm saying when when company isn't present and i don't want to say all women do this but I have come across a lot of women that loves to tackle things in public. Like, I know some women, they understand, they do understand that, you know, certain things are private, needs to be discussed in private, and stuff like that, and they'll hold their tongue until they get home, but most women that I've encountered with, nah, they're not like that. Shit happens, you know what I'm saying? Your eyes might veer off, stare at, stare at another girl for for a second too long and they go off on you in public you know what i'm saying they don't even know why it could be could be that you're looking at something completely different but they think you're looking at somebody 
and they just go off and i've come across those women uh, a lot of times in, in in my experience so as i said this is the only thing i disagree with what she did but everything else she had a right to do she had a right to go off on him um i'm not down for cheating i don't like it i i really don't understand most of the time why people do it um I'm saying, man, end your relationships before you step out on them. That's what I think. End them. Tell them you're done. Whatever. If you're not married, if you're married, divorce them. Then go find, you know, out of dick or out of, you know what I'm saying, vagina. So, so that that's just what I'm saying about that. She had a right to come at him the way she came at him. It just wasn't at the place. The place and time was not correct. You get what I'm saying? So I disagree with that. But he messed up everything. And as I said, even before she decided to leave, that's what I was saying. She, What he was suggesting, even though it's commonplace for stuff like that to happen, I don't see Lagatha. I keep messing up her name because now I got to say it like how they say it. Um, Lagatha, right? She... I didn't see her as that type of person that would, you know what I'm saying, being in a, a, a um, polygamous relationship. Like, I just, I don't see her as that type of person. So, it's like, I, I expected her, she has, that's why I said, she had the choice, she can dip, right? Which is what she decided to do. Um, sad to see her go. Kind of surprised to me that Bjorn changed his mind, but... Um, now Asla is there, so I don't know if she has some weird plan, what, what's her motive here? You know what I'm saying? Like, it seems like she has a, she has a secret motive that we know, that I don't know about yet. You guys probably know, cause you've been watching this show forever. But for me, it's just like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, you know, I don't know what she's, what she has planned. I really don't know. It seems like she does though. So, okay, let's talk about Rolo situation. The Rolo situation is, you know, F Rolo. I'm, I'm be straight up, F him. You know what I'm saying? He deserves whatever is coming to him um, because of what I understand. Trust me, because if I'm supposed to be objective about this, I understand where he's coming from. I understand the urge to get out of somebody's shadow. I've been in that place myself. You know what I'm saying? To get from under that person's shadow. I used to be the same way with my older brother. You know what I'm saying? I looked up to him to the point where I realized, no, I need to step out of this and be my own person. You know what I'm saying? So I I totally understand where he was and how he felt. But the thing about it is that I would never betray my brother. Not like that. Like, that's bullshit. To war? Hell to the no. Yeah, we might argue, but to betray him like that, go fight for somebody else? Oh, hell no. Nah. Never. Never. I would never do something like that. Um, Because no matter what, even though I want to step out from under his shadow, I still love the dude. I still love him. He's my brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And obviously, it showed that he, he still loved him. It was just, but you can't let people in your ear like that about your own kin, about your own people. You always got to shut them up and be like, look, <laughs> this is my family. I can talk shit about them, not you. Okay? Simple, plain. So he he needed to... Sh to he, he, Yarl Borg or whatever his name is. He needed to put him in his place and let him know, listen, no matter how much I want to get from under his shadow, bro, this is not the way. Okay? So I'm glad that they, you know, come to, I, I, I'm glad now he, uh, he kind of understands. You know what I'm saying? I know he wanted to leave, and I'm glad that Siggy kind of stopped him from leaving because I didn't want him to leave like that. You know what I'm saying? Um... But still, he's going to have to do a lot to regain, you know what I'm saying, to, to redeem himself. 
at least in my eyes from watching the show from the outside because now I feel immersed into the show. They've done a very good job of that just from the first episode of this season. Like, I'm into it. I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? They didn't really pull me in in the first season, but this season started out with so good that now I'm like, shit, I feel feel like I'm 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 in whatever that place is. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? I feel immersed into the Vikings world now, and that's how I want to feel when I watch um pretty much everything I watch. I want to feel immersed. I want to feel like I'm there. I feel like I'm helping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how I want to feel. So, thank you guys for watching as always, man. Um as always, you guys know what's going on, man. If Whenever this video comes out, it comes out. It's whenever it gets on a Google Drive and it's ready. I'm going to try to do some highlights for this. You don't see highlights? Boo-hoo. <laughs> okay? But at the same time, I want you guys to know, man, I appreciate everything. I appreciate that you guys will wait so long for these reactions and still support them. Thank you guys so much, man. Thank you for everything that you guys, the comments, the likes, everything that you do. Don't forget to like and comment under this video, please. I'm begging you guys, please, when you watch this video, please like and subscribe. Like, subscribe if you're new, comment under the video, tell me nice vid, love your reactions, bro, whatever, okay? Whatever you can do, man, to help the channel grow is highly appreciated over here. So, Thank you so much, man. You already know. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. And I will see you guys for the next one. Peace.